Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture number 18. So, we have been discussing about the orbital parameter. So, in that connection, we will solve one more problem and uh, see the problem is uh, defined here. Basically, it is a satellite uh, launching problem also it is a trajectory ch change problem which we are going to do little later, but because this is a very simple one. So, we can include it with the our uh, satellite orbit determination problem. So, a satellite is launched with the following conditions. Already you know this quantity we have discussed so many times. This is given phi 0, this is the flight path angle, this is given and uh, the initial position of the satellite not in terms of the vector, but in terms of just a scalar quantity. So, this is non dimensional quantity r is the here the radius of the earth as it is shown here r is the radius of the earth phi 0 is the flight path angle. Okay. So, what is the question determine the orbital parameters E A by r. So, eccentricity and the semi major axis is to be determined and establish the initial position with respect to the perigee. That means, with respect to the perigee initial position, how do we determine? This will be determined in terms of theta, the true anomaly. So, this we need to work out. And then, if we assume that the satellite continues along this orbit, so wherever the satellite has been launched, okay. so from there it continues till true anomaly, once the true anomaly reaches a value of 150 degree. At that time, the orbit is to be changed to A by R. Now, the semi major axis is to be changed without changing the axis line, means the peri axis line you do not have to change, where the perigee location is there from focus to the perigee location. So, that line has not to be changed, that should not rotate, it will remain the same. So, determine the required increment in the velocity and its direction. So, how much velocity increment will be required? This is a trajectory transfer problem basically, but uh, this part because other parts it is related to orbit determination. So, we are doing it here in this place and this is a very simple problem and it is a direction. <coughs> okay, so, we start with the problem. this is given 1.40 and phi 0 is given which is a flight path angle equal to 20 degree and r 0 by r this is given to Okay. So, we have to get the value of what is A by R and what is the eccentricity. These two things we have to determine. We start with H square equal to mu times L. So, this implies and we know if the orbit looks like this satellite has been launched and like this and this may be the injection point. So, this is the velocity vector and from here to here this is the r vector and this is e r cap this is the velocity vector. So, this angle is alpha and here this angle is phi 0 okay. 
and this becomes your R 0. So, if this is the peri axis line or perigee line. So, we have here uh, mm, this angle we have referred to as in this case we will write as theta 0 means the initial true anomaly initial true anomaly. So, h as we know this is r cross v magnitude a square divided by mu and in this case the mu will be the value for the earth which is g times m g times m earth. This is velocity. Okay. So, this will be r times v sin alpha square divided by mu. Okay. And because alpha is not given, but phi is given. So, therefore, we can write this in terms of and uh, here we will make it r 0 v 0. So, r 0 v 0 sin alpha a square divided by mu. So, r a square v a square 0 divided by mu and what is the value for sin alpha? So, this will be sin 90 degree minus phi 0. So, this gets reduced to cos phi 0 divided by mu. So, this is the value of L. Now, R 0 V 0 a square is given divided by mu. So, we write this as R 0 V 0 a square divided by mu times cos phi 0 times R 0 is times r 0. Okay. So, we insert the value this becomes 1.4 and uh, cos 20 degree and r 0 is 2 times r. So, that value we can insert here. Okay. So, for the time being let us keep it like this. L equal to 1.4 cos 20 times R 0. We know the value of the R is around it depends on the if you, if you want to take it simply this is 6400 kilometers otherwise a more accurate value is 6374 kilometers. Okay, so, this gets reduced to 1.23 R 0. Okay, done on some simple calculator, I am not truncating or uh, trying to uh, present a systematic value, because here if you truncate it, we do a lot of error in the estimate. So, on the computer a, the things are done in double precision, so that uh, you maintain the accuracy of your result. So, this is one. R 0 V 0 square divided by mu is a given. So, this is R 0 divided by 0 0.6. So, this will be 10 by 6 R 0 is equal to 5 by 3 R 0. So, A equal to 5 by 3 R 0. So, uh, already we have written the expression for the L. 
So, we utilize it to find out a times 1 minus e square this quantity is L. So, from here the L we have written the expression for a we have written therefore, 1 minus e square equal to L by a and from the previous one L equal to 1.236 like this 1.236 R 0 and a we have written as 5 by 3 R 0. So, R 0 R 0 cancels out. So, we do not have to again put the value of the R 0 and uh, work it out. So, here in this this cancels out. Mm -hmm. So, this is 3 times 1.236231 divided by 5. Okay, so, this is the value here and E a square this equal to 1 minus 0 0.7417386 and therefore, E becomes 86 under root and this value will be g 0 0.580 0.5508 so e equal to 0 0.5081941 and remember the a we have written as 5 by 3 times r0 okay though we have not written it explicitly explicitly so, if you put r 0 is given to be 2 times r. So, this is 2 times r and if we insert the value say 5 by 3 times 2 times 6374. So, in that case if we use this value of 6400. So, depending on uh, the value used here. So, we can write this as 3 uh, this is 2 1 and So, this becomes around 21246.7 kilometers. Why? Because this is 5 by 3 times 2. So, this is 10 by 3, which is nothing but 3.33 like this. Now, this times 6374. So, uh, that will exceed your value of uh, 20,000. So, th this is what we are getting. Okay, so, this is our result number 1, 2. This is 3. You can write this as 4. Okay. 
ओके द क्वेश्चन अदर थिंग्स वेयर डिटर्मिन ए बाय आर ओके सो द क्वेश्चन वाज आल्सो फाइंडिंग ए बाय आर हाउ मच दिस विल बी सो वी हैव ए बाय आर ऑलरेडी दिस ए बाय आर जीरो वी हैव रिटन सो ए बाय आर जीरो वी हैव गॉट एस फाइव बाय थ्री and r0 by r is given to be 2 so this is 10 by 3 so this is 3.333 so a by r so this is was one part in the question this is fourth okay what else is remaining determine the orbit parameters e a r and establish the initial position with respect to perigee so we have to determine theta also so we proceed in the usual way l by 1 plus e cos theta this equal to r 0 and this is theta 0 so here what is required that theta 0 equal to what this is the initial position in terms of true anomaly terms of true anomaly this is required so cos theta we have to determine theta 0 we have to determine so we start with writing 1 by r 0 Minus one e cos theta l by r zero equal to one plus e cos theta. So this is and cos theta zero. Therefore, this is one by e times l by r zero minus one. Already we have determined all these quantities. okay so for here in this case 0.5081941 l by r 0 we have already determined here l equal to 1.23 So uh, L by R zero from here becomes one point two three six two three. One point two three six two three one one minus one. This is the L by R zero. And once we solve this, so we get here cos theta zero. This equal to zero point two three six two three one one. So as earlier also. i have mentioned that this alone is not sufficient to determine uh the value of theta 0 so we also require sin theta 0 so that we can resolve the problem now therefore we utilize the relationship uh this is the way you can work out in the exam the way i am doing so write it l by r equal to 1 plus e cos theta everything you need not remember l by r square r dot this equal to minus e sin theta times theta dot and minus c e sin theta and theta dot is nothing but h by r square okay so there minus minus sign this drops out this will and this will they will cancel out this r square and r square this will cancel out and then we are left with l times r dot equal to e sin theta times h and e sin theta this equal to l r dot 
divided by h e also will remove from this place. Now, r dot is the radial component of the velocity vector. So, if we go back here in this direction. So, this is r dot here in this direction. So, this will be v 0 cos alpha. Okay. So, r dot is v 0 cos alpha. So, l times r 0 uh, v 0 l times v 0 cos alpha divided by e times h l times v 0 now alpha is 90 minus phi. So, this is cos 90 minus phi is 20 degree is so given e times h. So, therefore, this gets reduced to l v 0 cos cos phi becomes sin phi cos 90 minus phi that becomes sin phi divided by e times h. So, the from we have sin theta equal to here we will write it sin theta 0, because we are looking for the initial value. So, L v 0, L v 0 divided by E h sin phi. So, we need to insert the values to get the solution. Now, also we remember that uh, Here, this L is written in terms of uh, C to of mu times L, this is written as h square. Okay. So, we need to eliminate some of the things from this place. So, if we eliminate L by h, if we write it like this L by h, so you can see that this will be h by mu. So, this can be rewritten as L by h equal to L by h equal to h by mu v 0 sin phi and divided by e. Okay. Now, h already we have written as r cross v magnitude this is r 0 v 0 sin alpha and this we have written as r 0 v 0 sin alpha is nothing but sin 90 minus phi equal to cos phi. So, this is here becomes cos phi. So, this is your h. So, therefore, if we insert this h here, so r 0 v 0 cos phi sin phi divided by mu e and uh, v 0 is already there. So, 1 v 0 square becomes now this is in a format where you can work it out sin phi cos phi divided by e. So, all the values are now known r 0 v 0 square divided by mu this is given to be 1.4 sin 20 degree times cos 20 degree and divided by E which we have already determined uh, E value we have written to be 0 0.5081941. Okay. So, this is sin theta 0. So, more compactly one more step we can write as 0 0.7 sin 40 degree divided by 0 0.5081941 to 0 
So, this is sin theta 0, 0 0.88 and cos theta 0 we have got as point two three six two two three six two three one one see for in the actual calculation even a small angular difference though for our purpose it is a so much of number of digits it is not required, but you remember that a very if we are looking for 6400 kilometers distance okay, 6400 kilometer difference and you do a mistake of say 0 0.1 degree in evaluation. So, 0 0.1 degree uh, this will be around 0 0.1 pi by 180 means uh, it is approximately 3.14 into 0 0.1 divided by 180. So, 3.14 divided by 18 this much of radians. So, it is a converted into radian. And if you are multiplying it by 6400 kilometers, you have committed a mistake. This is the just the radius of earth. So, let us take double of that, that uh, where the initially the satellite is located. So, this is the error commit done. So, see what will be the corresponding value. This is r and if this is theta in radians. So, this distance becomes r times theta. So, th this is the principle we are using. So, this is your theta in terms of radians. I am sorry here this will be 0 0.314. This is once we ok this, this is fine 3.14 because here uh, oh sorry uh, here this will be 1800. 3.14 divided by 1800. So, if we cancel out this part, okay, so this gets reduced to 128 into 3.14 divided by 18 kilometers. So, 0 0.1 degree of error, let us check once more, this is 0 0.1 degree. So, 0 0.1 degree times pi by 180 radians it is a converted and uh, one radian is around 3.14 pi is 3.14.1 here divided by 180. So, we convert it 1 by 10. So, this is 1800 3.14 by 1800 okay. and this multiplied by at the distance we were looking for. So, 2 times r 0 this is 2 times r r 0 equal to. So, at distance how much error we will be doing. So, 128 times 3.14 divided by 18 and if we approximate this by 7, let us say this is approximately 7. So, this is uh, twenty one point nine eight kilometers. So, this much of difference if you do an error of point one degree in measurement. So, this much of error you will be committing in positioning the satellite okay, and this is very large error very very large error ok. And suppose then you are dealing with an interplanetary satellite like your satellite is going to Mars and other other position. So, you require very accurate value in these positions. So, therefore, while dealing with uh, doing the orbit determination for interplanetary satellite or even for the uh, 
earth satellite where the precision is required the angles are not involved because the small uh, error in angle it will result in large error in the position of the satellite. So, 0 0.1 degree results in 21 kilometer if you make it 0 0.01 degree. So, this will be 2.198 kilometer still it is a large. Okay. So, if, we, if you are looking for some precision uh, maneuvers like the docking and other things so uh, these things will not work simply. Okay. So, if uh, this is one learning that uh, we need very precise value in terms of angles even and therefore, the angles are quite often avoided in the satellite orbit determination problem because this creates a lot of problems. Okay. Now, based on this two, we need to find out the theta. So, we can see that both of them are positive, this and this both are positive. So, that means, it is a lying in the first quadrant as we have discussed in the last lecture and then this turns out to be 62.299858 degree. So, if you approximate this is 62.29 it is almost this is 62 point or you better we can write if we approximate 2 point 62.3 and uh, we are approximating till this place. Okay. So, this is the initial angular position of the satellite. Okay. So, for in this problem this is over. Now, we have to go to the part number B. So, it is a telling that this is the situation here, this is the focus and uh, satellite is at the anomaly of 62.3 degree, this is 62.3. So, this is the initial position theta 0 and from there it continues till 150 degrees. So, 150 degrees say it is a going from this place to this place this is theta 1 equal to 150 degree. So, this is given 2 theta equal to 150 degree at which time the orbit is to be increased to a value of a by r equal to 3.6. So, here the velocity vector is tangent to the ellipse this is the velocity vector. So, what it is asking that now the initially a by r this was we have obtained it a by r to be 5 by 3 or something. a by r 0 we have got as 5 by 3 a by r was perhaps 3.33 something we have got. So, a by r 0 we got as 5 by 3 and from there the a by r then a by r 0 times r 0 by r. So, this is 5 by 3 times r 0 by r is given to be 2. So, 10 by 3 which is this quantity we have got. So, from this value this has to be increased to a by r equal to 3.6 without rotating the periapsis. So, this will be your new a 1 by r. So, this is the older one and this is new one we will indicate by a 1 by r. So, what are the things required? So, in the trajectory transfer you will need all the velocities and other things, but from where those things will come we have to do it from this place itself whatever we have worked out till now the theory part using that theory we have to determine what will be the velocity vector and where in which direction it has to be given whether the change in velocity has to be in this direction 
or whether the change of velocity has to be in this direction in which direction we have to give impulse. So, that your a changes from this place to this value to this value 3.3332 3.60. 3 so, this is the exercise that we need to do here. Okay, so, to work out this problem we need to find out R 1 B 1. So, this was R 0 here. Now, here this is the position let us say this is R 1. This is the position vector R 1 and the velocity vector at this place is V 1 okay, in this orbit. Okay. So, let R 1 V 1 be the position and velocity vectors respectively in the original orbit, original orbit at theta equal to theta equal to theta 1 equal to 150 degree. So, we need to find out first r 1 v 1 square divided by mu at this position what this value will be. Okay. So, your eccentricity is known, E is known so, and uh, here theta is given to be 150 degree l of the original orbit is known. So, you know that r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta. So, from here your r 1 can be evaluated okay. and this will be here theta 1. So, r 1 equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta 1 and how the v 1 will be evaluated. So, for evaluating v it is uh, uh, we can use this relationship v equal to mu times 2 by r minus 1 by a under root. So, in the original orbit r position is known will be known from this place, okay. a will be known is already known mu is already known okay, because it is related to earth and therefore, v can also be known, but instead of doing that stretching this long simply we square this. So, this becomes v square equal to mu times 2 by r minus 1 by a and we take outside r as a common. Okay, so, this becomes 2 minus r by a. You see this relationship we have squared it. So, by squaring this under root has been removed okay. and thereafter we are taking from this place r as a common. So, this becomes mu by r and this r goes here in this place. So, this becomes 2 minus r by a and therefore, this implies v r v square divided by mu equal to 2 minus r by a. So, here look into this equation only r is required okay, at the new position a is already known and therefore, we can work out r v is a square divided by mu. Okay. So, both the way we can do it is not a problem either you do this way or that way it is all ok. okay. And moreover as we have written r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta this equal to l equal to a times 1 minus e square divided by 1 plus e cos theta and therefore, r by a becomes 1 minus e square divided by 1 plus e cos theta. So, this is also r by a can be written this way. So, the same problem I as I have told you you can attempt in a number of ways and irrespective of your ways. Uh, your result should be the same.
So, therefore, V a square R V a square by mu becomes and you remember this equation is nothing but our energy equation. Uh, I will take up that tissue again uh, R V a square equal to 2 minus R by a V a square by mu equal to 2 minus r by a. This is nothing but your energy equation we have written V a square by 2 minus mu by r equal to minus mu by 2 a which is nothing but your a prime a specific energy. So, once we have rearranged it. So, if we pull here r on this side V a square divided by mu this is 2. So, we are multiplying by r by mu. So, this becomes minus 1 and here on this side minus mu 2 a this is r by mu 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 cancels out this is minus r by 2 a okay. and therefore, r v a square by mu minus 2 this becomes minus r by a and which is nothing but R v a square divided by mu equal to 2 minus R by a. So, this is the same equation energy equation we have used. Any time you do not remember this equation, so you can derive it always from the energy equation from this particular one. Okay. Using this particular equation you can always work out. Okay. So, here R 1 is L by 1 plus 0 0.5081941 cos 150 degree and this gives us a value of R 1 equal to 2 point and L is also known. So, L is known to be 1.236231 R 0 divided by cos 150 degrees. So, this will be become an this will come with a minus sign and therefore, this value will reduce and this value gets reduced to 0 0.559891 and therefore, R 1 gets reduced to 2.2079853 R 0. So, this is the value of R 1. So, what we need here in this place R 1 V 1 square divided by mu. So, this will be equal to 2 minus R 1 by A and this can be written as 2 minus R 1 by R 0 if it is known from this place times R 0 by A we can also write it like this okay. because the A is known. So, 2 minus R 1 by R 1 by R 0 and divided by A by R 0. So, A by R 0 is known R 1 by R 0 is known from this place this is 2.2079853 and uh, A by R 0 we have written as 5 by 3. So, insert that 5 by 3 here, this is 5 by 3. So, this is 2 minus 3 into 2.2079853 divided by 5 and this value will get reduced to 0 0.6752088. So, what we have got here R 1 V 1 square divided by mu this equal to 0 
so we have forgot to number the things we have not numbered any wear equation so you can follow as it is okay so now this is available these are the things i am putting the things in uh, box so that it's uh, easily traceable so whatever uh, we have the important values these are all placed in box Okay, till this we have numbered. Thereafter we have not done. Okay, anyway. So seven. Okay, once we have got this value, then and what is required? that uh, at the point this is the point at 150 degree theta 1 equal to 150 degree here the velocity is now v1 initially somewhere here at the initial velocity was v0 so how much velocity change is required so that without changing the peri axis your a by r which was originally 3.333 so for, from that this gets reduced to a, a by r equal to 3.6 this is the question okay we have to get it to 3.6 say uh, now here in whatever the direction we have to give the impulse okay so we will require here the flight path angle and let us say the flight path angle the here this is phi 1 without flight path angle this problem cannot be worked out okay so we need to determine this value now at this position the flight path angle if we are looking for so h equal to r cross v and as earlier also i have told you this can be written as r times r dot r cap or er cap plus r times theta dot times e theta cap and this being the same vector this cancels out and here you get this as r times r square times theta dot times er cap cross e cap theta and this vector will be nothing but perpendicular to the orbit which is shown here okay and what this quantity is this is nothing but r times r theta dot and what this quantity is r theta dot is the velocity component along this direction so this is r times theta dot at this position so simply the each vector once we are writing as r square theta dot so this is nothing but your r times r theta dot equal to r times r theta dot is how much v cos phi okay so therefore h is remaining because h is remaining constant it's a constant for the orbit so on the right hand side we will have r1 v1 cos phi1 so whatever the velocity is here so this we have to take so this equation we can utilize for finding out the value of the phi 1 this problem is bit long okay it uses the simple problem process 
but it is a, a stretching one okay. and this also must be true that this should be equal to r 0 v 0 cos phi 0 which is at the initial position and this is at the final position. So, h remains constant this is also h this is also h, but are two different positions. So, from this place we get cos phi 1 this equal to r 0 v 0 divided by r 1 v 1 times cos phi 0. Cos phi 0 of course, is known to us Okay, so, what will be the flight path angle in that place? This becomes known to us. Otherwise, you can use whatever the equation I have developed earlier. So, there the flight path angle equation from there it can be written very easily, but you need to uh, remember those equations. Here, without remembering anything, you can do the work. Okay. In a sequential manner, if you go, you will be able to do it. Okay, so, we require now uh, r 0 v 0 here in this place, okay, once we get this, so our job is done. So, v 0 is the quantity mu times 2 by r 0 minus 1 by a under root R 0 we are taking outside 2 minus R 0 divided by A under root two minus R 0 by A uh, R 0 by A we have written as three by five. So, this is mu by r 0 under root and this is 7 by 5. So, v 0 is 7 by 5 under root times mu by r 0 mu by r 0. Of course, mu is a known quantity for the earth, so it is not a problem. Okay. So, here in this place, we insert the respective values what we have calculated. R 1 we have calculated to be 2.2079853 R 0. And R 0 is also given to us, R 0 is given to be 2. Okay, R 0 uh, this is already written in terms of R 0. So, it is not a problem R 1 we have worked out here we have worked out R 1. So, this we write here. So, R 0 R 0 will get cancelled out from here this is V 1 we are remaining with V 0 cos phi 0.
so this will and this will drop out we are left with v0 here cos phi 0 v1 this quantity is known to us this particular part ok so v0 and v1 so already v0 we have written here in terms of this so you will utilize it 